Thank you to Simthic, accessible via sim.gg, for the weapon stats used in making this video. Link in the description. Hello, this is yet another entry into a series I have been calling Final Meta, an exploration into the infantry weapons in Battlefield 5 following its final content release. This video covers the Precision LMGs, the Bren Gun, Madsen MG, Type 11 MG, and Type 97 MG. These are the LMGs best used at longer ranges, all being unified by the trait of having very low horizontal recoil, low vertical recoil, and generally slower rates of fire. The combat role suggestion for these LMGs is Engineer, with the exception for the Madsen if you select the Extended Magazine Upgrade in which case the Machine Gunner combat role is a suitable choice. My sight suggestion is the 3 time scope for all four of these LMGs. This both takes advantage of the LMG's improved precision over most of other LMGs, and seems to mitigate at least partially the top loading magazine's tendency to block out your view with more zoomed in sights. My gadget suggestion for all four precision LMGs is the Sticky Grenade, Ammo Crate, and AT Grenade Pistol. This maximizes your range against vehicles, as you will already be positioning yourself further from the center of combat. The Sticky Grenade can also assist, at least partially, in unexpected close range fights, act as a deterrent for rushers, or simply as a means of dishing out anti-infantry damage. If you are playing in one of the smaller infantry focused maps though, you will want to pick Incendiary Grenade, Ammo Crate, and Shaped Charge instead. The Incendiary Grenade and Shaped Charge both can act as effective range control. If you find yourself being rushed, either block the path with an Incendiary, or drop a Shaped Charge as you flee. The detonation is fairly quick, and the explosive radius is sizable enough that this can either wipe out your attacker or strongly deter them from giving chase. My sidearm suggestion for the Bren Type 11 and Type 97 are all the Type 94. The Type 94 provides some solid emergency firepower for when you run out of ammunition, and the damage model suits these guns fairly well. However, I suggest the Mark VI revolver for the Madsen as the Madsen's close range time to kill is fairly poor, and the Mark VI does a good job covering for that. My melee suggestion for all four LMGs in this video is the hand tools, as the damage model meshes decently well with the LMGs, allowing it to act as a finisher in close range. The upgrade tree suggestion for the Bren and Type 97 is all right side of the trees, and three of the four of these upgrades end up being the same. Ported Barrel, Barrel Bedding, and Quick Aim, with the Type 97 getting Custom Stock and the Bren getting High Velocity Bullets. In the Bren Gun's case, this turns it into a mobile, long-ranged LMG. While the improved Bipod is uniquely capable of being combined with Barrel Bedding, in this case with the Bren, I generally don't suggest the extended time spent stationary needed to take proper advantage of that as you will be outclassed easily by snipers at the ranges where such accuracy increases become relevant. The Type 97 instead gets custom stock, which while the Type 97 does not get lightened stock, its generally higher firing rate than the rest of these LMGs makes creeping around while aimed an acceptable tactic. Though be wary of wasting rounds since it has a smaller magazine, and you are still generally best off firing stationary. Overall though, for both, the upgrades accentuate accuracy rather than mobility, and that also applies for the next set of LMGs. The Madsen and Type 11 should go right, right, left, resulting in identical upgrades. Quick aim, barrel bedding, custom stock, and high velocity bullets. However, their playstyle will differ notably due to the diverging damage models between the two with the Type 11 doing generally better in close ranges, matching the damage models of the rest of the LMGs, and the Madsen working better than the others beyond 30 meters. Otherwise, this build tends to emphasize long range, yet somewhat aggressive and mobile tactics. While the top-off upgrade for the Type 11 is interesting, it ultimately doesn't improve the gun notably for the role it's really best for, 
very long range, and having to make sure you only reload at ammo counts divisible by 5 is distracting and impractical. Use the Type 11 as a fairly conventional though effective accurate LMG with this build and do long bursts at longer range. With the Madsen, I actually advise switching to semi-auto and really keeping your distance to really take advantage of its improved damage over much longer ranges. Acting as a pseudo DMR much like the heftier hitting Shosha but with less recoil and needing an additional hit with body shots. Switch to full auto with the Madsen however if you find yourself engaging at mid range or closer. The Madsen's strength is its flexibility. The Shosha is actually better at being a DMR, but the Madsen can be either a decent DMR or a decent mid range LMG depending on the situation. There is a viable alternative build for the Madsen. If you like your LMGs with larger magazines and better ammo reliability, you can go left, left, right resulting in quick reload, recoil buffer, extended magazine, and ported barrel. This build means you will spend more of your time in closer ranges than normal, but you'll still want to keep at least a minimum distance of 10 meters when using this build. Use this build exclusively in fully automatic and generally play more aggressively. The ammo reliability is not nearly as good as the Lewis gun, but with this kind of longer range damage, it's an interesting and viable trade-off. You should switch to iron sights or AA sights for this build though, as without quick aim, the scope will likely add a notable aiming delay, and you should consider switching the combat role to machine gunner. In terms of tactics, the Type 97 has the fastest time to kill among these precision LMGs in the broadest sense because of its slightly elevated firing rate in comparison to the other three in this video. Matching that of the Lewis gun, you can be a tad more aggressive with it as a result, though you need to take care that its poorer ammo reliability doesn't cause you problems. Be sure to reload before you have an empty magazine. It's proportionally not super punitive to magazine dump, but if you want to take advantage of the faster kill times in closer ranges, you'll not want to find yourself stuck too frequently on an empty reload. While the Bren and Type 11 use different strategies to achieve similar goals of being generally precise LMGs and have matching damage profiles and firing rates, assuming you follow my build suggestions, the Bren's tactic relies more on lower recoil values improving your ability to land headshots at mid-range, while the Type 11 has the best bullet velocity possible out of all LMGs if the bullet velocity upgrade is selected, making it easier to land shots at much longer ranges. Another major difference between the two is that the Bren has significantly improved reload speeds, meaning being closer to the action is generally going to be less risky. This is compounded if you manage to keep to tactical reloads, as they are significantly faster than when the gun is empty. The Type 11 on the other hand with the bullet velocity upgrade has the fastest possible bullet velocity of any LMG in the game, but this comes with the price of also having the worst reload speed in the LMG class. Make sure you are nice and distant from the center of combat with this gun, both to take advantage of that muzzle velocity and to minimize risk of being jumped during a reload. The empty reload is not proportionally punitive compared to tactical however, so mag dumping and pre-fire are sound tactics. Keep in mind the Type 97 and Type 11 both lack semi-automatic modes. The recoil can still be reduced by crouching, going prone, or bipodded firing. The time to kill of these LMGs are on the slower end of the spectrum for LMGs, and are also generally beaten out by most of the assault class across most ranges, though they of course do beat out SMGs for the most part beyond 22 meters. This requires you to play generally more carefully or tactically, or to really focus on getting headshots to achieve success. With that said, the Type 97 will kill a tad faster overall, and the Madsen will kill faster than all of them at longer ranges because of its damage model, but also be beaten out by all of the rest of the LMGs within 10 meters. To reiterate, the Madsen is the best LMG for ranges beyond 30 meters because of its damage profile, but performs notably poorly within 10 meters. It functions as a lighter damage pseudo DMR compared to the Shosha in its basic build, with a more functional full auto mode, but with its alternative build becomes a longer ranged big mag LMG competing more with the Lewis gun. Regardless, you should reload frequently, as its tactical reload is notably faster than its empty. 
In conclusion, if you want your LMG to reach out and hit enemies with precision, and you are generally more about landing those repeated headshots, these are the LMGs for you. They work well in larger maps, and their controllability can pair well with the more ranged anti-tank weaponry the support class has access to. Thank you for watching my video to the end. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications.